Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at taking the derivative of the natural log. So we have calculate the derivative of and we have two examples here where we're going to use chain rule. So for the first example we have natural log of cotangent x so we're going to define u to be cotangent x and that allows us to rewrite this as y equals natural log of u. Now the reason why we're doing this is we're setting ourselves up to use chain rule. The method we're going to use for both problems kind of avoids the shortcut because if you do the shortcut, it's a, it can be effective. However, sometimes like you'll miss one of the derivatives and it could get you into trouble. So the idea is we want to use our chain rule here. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate du dx, which is negative cosecant squared x and we're going to calculate dy du. And the derivative of the natural log of u is 1 over u. Okay, so then to find dy dx, we need to multiply these two derivatives together. But just know that our derivative should be all in terms of x. So when we write negative cosecant squared of x times 1 over u, Instead of u, we're going to replace it back with cotangent x. Now, if we wrote our final answer as negative cosecant squared x times 1 over cotangent, we could simplify this a little bit more, so you might lose a point if you left it like this. So dy dx equals, we could call this negative 1 over sine squared x times, and 1 over cotangent is equal to tangent of x. So then we could write 1 over cotangent as sine x over cosine x. Okay, because the reciprocal of cotangent is tangent, and tangent is defined to be sine x over cosine x. And now we have common factors that can cancel out. Sine x over sine squared x. This sine x cancels out, and this reduces this down to just sine of x. So then dy dx equals... This is negative, and 1 over sine is equal to cosecant x, and 1 over cosine is equal to secant x. Okay, for this second example, it's going to be a little bit more involved because we have a composition of three functions here. So if we use this method of substitution, we define u to be the innermost function, natural log x. And then we need another variable, let's say w, and that would represent natural log of u. So if we look at this at this stage, natural log of u would be natural log of natural log of x. So it's like, in a sense, rebuilding the function that we're given here. And then y, the outermost function is the exponent 3, would be w to the third power. So if you're ever unsure if you're doing it correct at this step, you could always plug in w is natural log of u, and then u is natural log of x, and it would bring you back to the original expression. So it's important that you kind of do that either in your head or on the paper before you go forward. So here, we're going to calculate du dx, which is just 1 over x. dw du, which is 1 over u. And then dy dw, which we just use power rule. This is 3w squared. So then to find dy dx, once again, we're using chain rule. However, this time around, we have three derivatives to multiply. So then dy dx for the second example is equal to 1 over x times 1 over u, where u is equal to natural log x times 3w squared. But instead of w, we go back to our definitions. w is natural log of u. And instead of u, we're going, to, we're going to replace u with natural log of x. Because remember, our final answer to both problems have to be all in terms of x. So at the last step, you have to replace the variables we defined here. So our final answer for the second example will be dy dx equals, and in the numerator, we have 3 natural log, natural log of x squared over x natural log x. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on calculating the derivative of the natural log. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.